do 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 Let's talk. Hello, Radioheads. You know this is L Man. I'm here with Clash and Sandman. Sandman. Sandman, Sandman. and Clash, the Furies. So uh, I've been under a rock and I haven't seen the Warriors movie. I was just talking about seeing it last week and then BAM! I'm at this place where all the stars, a lot of the stars from the Warriors movie are here. And we get you guys, you're promoting the Warriors. How many years later? You're doing a lot of, tell us what you do. So we're from Fury's Revenge. As she said, I'm Sandman Fury and this is Clash Fury. And Fury's Revenge is actually a support group for the uh, Warriors cast. So we come to the conventions. We also do uh, charity events for our, our communities. We do breast cancer walk, MS walk, ALS walk. We do, uh, like I said, multiple events for children, toys for tots, uh, and stuff like that. Our support group. So I'm in a few movies. You know, we have the Bloody Nun franchise, one, two, and three. I never thought of a support group for the movies I'm in. I'm mean, so tired. Like right now, there's more things I should know. I should have done more prep for the interview, but I'm tired. So maybe I need a support group. Like, how could I get my own versions of you guys? What do I have to do? Uh, well, you got to have a love for the Baseball Furies, All which right. was a gang from the movie The Warriors. Number one. Um, you have to be dedicated. You got to be motivated. You got to right. stay positive. All right. Well, um, I, although I we, we, they did represent gangs in the movie. Uh, as you can see from the Warriors community, it's very friendly, very welcoming. Yeah. Um, we do, like I said, conventions and just really support. And we really enjoy, <clears throat> excuse me, the fans. Uh, you know, young kids that are just learning about the movie The Warriors. I mean, this movie is from 40 years ago, yeah. so more than 40 years now, um, and it's still going strong. And we still have, you know, the Warriors that come out and they represent, and we're here to, like we said, support them, have fun with the fans, take pictures, do videos, uh, whatever we can to support them. And what are some messages you would like to get across, either from the Furies or from yourself personally? Uh, I mean, for us, like I said, it's really about giving back to our community. You know, we, we stay positive. Uh, we want to make sure that, you know, children that didn't grow up with this, you know, can be exposed to it and see that, uh, you know, some of the cast members have said something in the past. This was really like one of the original cosplay. Mm -hmm. Cosplaying events have become very big, especially at comic conventions. Uh, but the movie The Warriors was really one of the first cosplay events where we had so many different people uh, dressing up into you know costumes and uniforms and, and using face paint and war paint and everything else uh, and representing different areas from new york uh it was a very uh uh it's a piece where if you if you from coney island you know the warriors so you know it's a destination thing a lot of people come to coney island because they want to see the places that were represented in the movie mm -hmm. and they want to really experience that and a lot of stuff is still there from the movie you know the wonder wheel is still there the you know you still ride the trains from the bronx down to coney island um so a lot of that stuff is still able to you know people that enjoyed the movie back then are able to experience it so 40 years ago this movie comes out now we're in 2022 are we i, I don't even know where i'm so 2022 high. and uh well the world there's a lot of things that aren't permitted now people call it woke or awake uh, uh, do you think there's a lot of things that were in the movie that just would not fly now that maybe we have to censor out to appease some groups or everything's gonna fly uh, well, I think that's why you probably cannot remake this movie. Uh, mm -hmm. Again, it was it was shot in the 70s when gangs. But, however, in the movie, there was only one gun that was used uh, okay. throughout the whole event. Um, and so, you know, it just one from gun. this one gun that was in the movie. I mean, the cops had guns, but the gangs only had one gun hmm. um, that, that they used to, to, you know, at the end of the movie. We need to bring but, back gangs. If we have more <laughs> gangs, maybe we need less guns. Maybe that's the takeaway from that? Well, it, it, it really, it was, like I said, it was a period piece, you know, back then. And, and they actually did have real gang members that were that were in the background and that were extras that they paid for. Um, and th they could huh. only film at night because it was a low-budget film and they couldn't get permits and other films were going on in the daytime, so they had to only film hey, at night. I'm a gang member, but you know what? I need to feed my family. I'm do a little background acting, right? <laughs> Absolutely. A little background acting, a little shoot them up, a little background acting. Wait, is that, is that what happened? That's what that's what was, and you know, and they got that real feel. I mean, it, it was New York in the 70s. You know, if you, if you watch the movie, you're going to get the feel of New York in the right. 70s. 
No, see, when I have a set, you know, magazine shoot, film set, you got to be careful you bring it to their set and they're bringing gang members yeah. in like because they want it authentic. Is it worth the risk? Is that a little risky, you think? It was back then. Uh, if you ever speak to some of the cast members, they'll tell you, you know, they, they actually were approached by some gang, real gang members right? because they had put up uh, spray paint in the neighborhood okay. and some of the real gangs came out and said you can't put up spray paint of this That's interesting. and they had to tell them no we're just filming a movie right. uh and they actually offered him a, a role in the movie so it oh. kind of appeased the, the, the people see that is a way to appease people you just go hey, hey, oh you want to roll in a movie you want, you want to be you want to be in my tiktok video i guess that's like almost the same thing nowadays all right so final thoughts any messages you would like to share with society and the radio I mean, from us, again, Fury's Revenge, we're really about the community. Like we tell people, you know, for us, it's, it's not about race, color, creed, religion. Uh, if you're into doing stuff positive and giving back to your community, that's what we're all about. Uh, we could take something that really had, you know, maybe some people looked at it. It was protested back in the 70s when it came mm -hmm. out. There was a lot of protest. People did not want the movie to be in theaters. They tried to say that people were stabbed and shot because of the movie, that it promoted wow. violence, and there was a lot of protests. But here we are over 40 years later, and we're really using that for something positive uh, to bring some joy, you know, to people children to adults you know everybody that sees us loves taking pictures with us doing a little video uh, really just enjoy doing things so it's really about you know there's, there's no point in uh you know putting out the 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 negative negativity in the world there's so much positive that we can do uh, and take something like i said from 40 years ago that was a violent film uh turn it into something positive be positive i got aids positive so it's a great day Thank you guys so, so much. Thank you. And where can we find you? Uh, you can find us on Instagram. You can find us on Facebook. You can find us FuriesRevenge.com. Furies Revenge, one word, uh, F-U-R-I-E-S-R-E-V-E-N-G-E. -E -E, Furies Revenge. Look us up. Check us out. You'll see all the events that we do. Sounds like something that might happen if I ate some Mexican food. <laughs> all right, on that note, back to more. It came from the radio. Respect.